we have an animal welfare crisis in this country. Whenever animals are raised commercially, whether it be for food and often for export, uh, or for sale as pets, or for use in sport, whichever way you look at it, you see that animals are often being abused. And this is despite the fact that millions of Australians genuinely care about animal welfare. Surely if we can mobilise and turn this into a federal election issue in 2016, then we can hold out hope that there will be reform for the better during the next parliament. How we continue to have so many problems with the commercial production of animals in Australia in 2016 beggars belief. Part of the problem, of course, is that both major political parties seem to care so little about animal welfare. Indeed, the current Liberal uh, National Coalition government in Canberra celebrates every expansion of the live animal export industry. Uh, and its predecessor, the Labor federal government, uh, while it did put in place a temporary ban on the export of cattle to Indonesia, ultimately it overturned that ban and the trade continued. And of course, neither major political party, neither the Liberal Party nor the Labor Party, have come good on the pressing need for some sort of independent office of animal welfare. The live animal export trade is especially cruel because the fact is that a great many of the cattle that we send to countries in Asia, the sheep that we send to countries in the Middle East, suffer terribly uh, on the ships while they're en route to their destination, suffer terribly in the feedlots that they might go to or the sale yards they might go to when they arrive in these countries, and suffer terribly with uh, dreadful practices in the slaughterhouses when they're put to death. The fact is that the live animal export trade is systemically cruel, and we've seen that through expose after expose in the media. And it's not in Australia's uh, economic self-interest, and it doesn't have support in the community. Any half-decent government would shut it down. But the cruelty in the live animal export trade is not the end of it, because there's cruelty in many other areas in this country. For example, uh, when chickens and pigs are raised for human consumption, when puppies and kittens are bred for sale in pet shops, uh, what happens to greyhounds and thoroughbred racing horses? In all of these cases, there is systemic cruelty, and often state and territory governments have been shown to not be regulating animal welfare effectively for those sorts of animals. Again, raising the question, why don't we have a national and independent office of animal welfare, a powerful office that can keep an eye on animal welfare right throughout the country and ensure that we treat our animals better? So in closing, can I just say again, millions of people care about this issue and we need to turn it into an election issue. So get in touch with your local MP or Senator. Get into the media and voice your concern. Make the parties commit to do better in the next parliament. Make the parties commit to finally start caring about animal welfare and ensuring that this country starts acting like uh, the ethical country that we can be.